Grant, as several of our parks are closed, do you find yourself walking on paths in areas where there are many more people now? Do you cross the pathway or the sidewalk to avoid passing them? It's one thought on the rant this afternoon. Also tonight, an observation from a Louisville viewer about the numbers we see every night on the positive cases. Are they too low? But more calls coming in about filing for unemployment in Kentucky. You're still having a hard time getting through or you're not getting your money yet on the rant. Mitch from Louisville, please fix the unemployment. Filed three weeks ago, have received, received no money yet. It's going to be tough to make it. Somebody please fix the unemployment. This is Jenny from Louisville, Kentucky. I have been trying to get on the unemployment site for eight days. I don't think the numbers are right for the coronavirus um, because I don't think Louisville is testing enough people to get an accurate count. I think they need to increase the testing for everyone that would like to have a test. We'd like to ask Bernheim Forest to reconsider the closing of their park. I have walked the numerous paths and trails in Burnham Forest many times, and I never see another human being. Only God's beautiful creation and creatures. And Marie in Louisville, it has been almost one month and still no unemployment check for my son. He was sent home for 14 days due to being exposed to COVID-19 at his workplace. Scott in Louisville and the city promising to crack down on the fake pop-up testing sites. The folks that were set up at 18th and Broadway last week didn't even spell HIPAA correctly on their sign. LMPD tagged them and had them hightailing up I-65 by noon. Rebecca in Bardstown, I'm encouraged by our state's trends, but I do question the numbers because they still don't know how widespread this is. They are not testing everyone who is sick. They have no idea how many people actually do have this or have had it. Tanya in Louisville on social distancing. If adults can't do the right thing when their lives and the lives of their children is counting on it, how do you ever expect for young kids or teenagers to do the right thing? Stay home. You don't have to be out except for exercise. Well, the governor's live news conference is coming up live for you to watch at 5 o'clock. Will we see our trends continuing? Yesterday was less than expected as we hit the one-month mark, but we are still escalating. We are in the surge, expected to peak by sometime in early May. Let me hear from you tonight. You can rant by using my Facebook page. Also, use Twitter at WHAS11Doug and follow me on Twitter as well. Keep your emails coming to the rant at WHAS11.com. And the toll-free rant line is open at 855-749-1101.